Hello everybody, today I'm going to tell you one fun fact about toads. Here we see a male and a female of the common toad, Buffo Buffo, having sex. That's right, on the bottom we have a big female and on her back is a male. But what's interesting about toads is that the males of toads, they cannot tell the difference between males and females. Which sounds very stupid, but it's true. And in, the, in reality, this ends up with uh, males trying to uh, pair with each other. Um, basically, uh, toads will try to have sex with anything that looks like another toad. However, males have uh, come up with a trick to differentiate um, themselves from each other. So they will not waste their time and energy uh, while having sex with another male. So when male toads are touched on their back when they are pairing, they'll make a squeaking sound. And the meaning of this sound is basically, hey dude, get off my back, I'm a male. Stop trying to have sex with me. And I'm going to demonstrate that. Let's hear. Do you hear? Did you hear that sound? That's the sound a male toad makes in spring when something is trying to enter its back. This commonly happens because other males of toads will try to climb on its back in order to pair with it. It basically means no homo. Why am I here touching toads? Because these toads are trapped. You see, this is the door to my basement and there's a stair that leads up to it. But every spring some animals will climb down the stairs and then they're stuck here, they're unable to get back. And as you can see the toads are very common this spring. I know it's not a video about butterflies or moths, but I gotta rescue these guys otherwise they will die here. See? Here we have a male, I think. I'm not a toad expert so I could be wrong. I just thought it was fun to show you this fun fact. Oh look, here we have another one. In fact, I think we have many of them. Come here. It's time to rescue all of you. Um, now some people will say it's not very, it's very, not very wise to touch them with your hands. Amphibians, they have a delicate skin and I'm touching them with my fingers that contain salt and whatever that can damage their mucus. And you know what I'll say? You're right, it's true. But if I don't end up touching these, they'll starve and die down here. So let's try and hear it one more time. I hope you can hear it. I mean, if, if the sound is not, not audible in the video there's literally no other point to this video well guys sorry for disturbing you like this <laughs> i kind of like these creatures i mean yeah they're kind of gross and slimy but they're also adorable so here inside this door when i put my finger in here i can actually feel the crawling of many toads but they are too hidden in here and I cannot pull them out so I have to wait until they come out on their own. And some days there are like over 10 or more toads trapped down here. So guys, say hi to YouTube, this was your small amount of fame. I know this was not a, uh, not a video about butterflies or moths but I guess this was educational. At least I hope it was. And uh, now there are thorns in that. Let's try and release them somewhere in the bushes. These guys don't like sunlight, so let's put them here in a dark, dark place. Come, come here. There you go. Well, enjoy your freedom. I hope you'll spawn many frogfish. Or in this case, toadfish. Later.